Your imagination, our innovation. Sense, illuminate, connect. Hello, today we will show you the ease of termination of a one millimeter plastic optical cable using Avago's crimpless versatile link connectors. Avago crimpless connectors are available as simplex and duplex versions and in various colors for easy identification of cables in systems. In this example, we will do the termination for Avago's compact fast ethernet versatile link transceiver AFBR 5972Z. The following step-by-step -step guide describes how to terminate plastic fiber optic cable. It is ideal for both field and factory installations. Finishing the cable is accomplished with the Avago Technologies AFBR 4594Z polishing kit, consisting of a three-hole polishing fixture, 600 grit abrasive paper, and three micron pink lapping film. The connector can be used immediately after polishing. The following materials are needed for plastic fiber termination. Plastic optical fiber cable, the example HFBR EUD 500Z. Wire cutters or scissors, 16 gauge wire strippers, the example Ideal Stripmaster Type 45092. Duplex connectors, AFBR 4526Z. The zip cord structure of the duplex cable permits easy separation of the channels. The channels should be separated a minimum of 100 millimeters, 4 inches, to a maximum of 150 millimeters, 6 inches, back from the ends to permit connectoring, polishing, and cable end flexibility. After cutting the cable to the desired length, strip off approximately 7 millimeters, 0.3 inches, of the outer jacket with the 16 gauge wire strippers. The separated duplex cable should be stripped to roughly equal lengths on each cable end. Place the connector on each end of the fiber and slide the connector down until the fiber jacket stops it. The fiber should protrude no less than 1.5 millimeters, 0.06 inches from the end of the connector. Manually press connectors together. The connectors are secured when the top hatches latch into the ferrule halves. During the insertion of the fiber into the connector, make sure that the orientation of the connector is correct. So you make sure that the optical channels are connected correctly. TX1 to RX2, TX2 to RX1. Note, for longer cable lengths, the printed markings on only one of the channel jackets will help to correctly orientate the connector. Any fiber in excess of 1.5 millimeters, 0.06 inches, protruding from the connector end should be cut off with wire cutters or scissors. Insert the connector fully into the polishing fixture with the trimmed fiber protruding from the bottom of the fixture. This plastic polishing fixture can be used to polish one or two simplex connectors or one duplex connector. Note, the four dots on the bottom of the polishing fixture are wear indicators. Replace the polishing fixture when any dot is no longer visible. Press the polishing tool down on the 600 grit abrasive paper. Polish the fiber using a figure eight pattern until the connector is flush with the bottom of the polishing fixture. Wipe the connector and fixture with a clean cloth or tissue. Place the flush connector and polishing fixture on the dull side of the 3 microns pink lapping film and continue to polish the fiber in the same figure eight pattern for approximately 25 strokes. The fiber end should be flat, smooth, and clean. Note, use of the pink lapping film fine polishing step results in up to 1 to 2 dB improvement in coupling performance of either a transmitter receiver link or a bulkhead splice over a 600 grit polish alone. This fine polish is comparable to the Avago Technologies factory polish. The fine polishing step may be omitted for short link lengths. The finished cable can easily be verified. Plug one end into the mating transceiver AFBR 5972Z while in operation in the final application. Representative in our case, we just used the AFBR 0545Z fast ethernet media converter board and you see the 650 microns red visible light at the other end of the cable if the termination was performed properly. Turn the cable and plug the other end in for verification as well. Alternatively, a flashlight will do it to quickly verify that light is passing properly through the terminated cable. 
Thanks for joining us today. We hope you enjoyed our short clip. Compare the ease of plastic optical fiber termination with Avago's crimpless connectors versus termination of shielded twisted pair cables yourself. Just contact one of Avago's distributors or visit us at www.avagotech.com pof to get your samples for your own try.